Isn't it funny how messed up things get during the winter time? And it was stuff just sitting all over the place. This is my patio. It's about 70 degrees today. Beautiful, beautiful weather. The uh, the trees are starting to uh, starting to bud. The sky is blue. And people are out cycling. What a beautiful day. Really, what a beautiful day. I'm sitting out on my patio, as you can tell, thinking about upcoming events and budgets. This is a dollar flute, and it's one of my favorites. It's actually a dollar whistle, and it's one of my favorites. favorites it cost me a buck and I carry this in my bag often because it's indestructible easy to carry and it sounds good I like it. I like the way that it sounds I also carry my little my little ocarina with me this is a uh, this is a sea ocarina from um, songbird ocarinas I like it play it a lot so I'm sitting out here on my patio playing my ocarinas and my whistle and having a smoke and coffee and stuff like that. It's about 2.30 right now. The sun's out 70 degrees. And uh, I was thinking about Mother's Day. And what are you going to do for Mother's Day? Have you, have you had any thoughts about it yet? Now, this is the first year in probably 12 years that, um, that Mom's not right here with me you know that or that I haven't been with her and and I've done things in the past I've done poems and songs and and taken her out to dinner and you know got flowers and that kind of stuff and and I'm probably not going to do anything that's that's really monumentally different but because of our situation with mom now living in a new place I thought wouldn't it be cool being a, a vlogger as I am you know, doing that professionally, um, wouldn't it be cool if uh, if I did a video in which I interview my siblings and ask them or talk to them about what mom has meant to them over the years about growing up and and times when she's been there for them and how much it's meant to them and just basically how much they love her. Now where mom's at, she can't have a lot of stuff. But she can have a DVD, and there is a DVD player, and uh, she can put it on and show, you know, new friends. These are my my sons and my daughters, and and this is a DVD they did for me for Mother's Day. Um, I thought, what a cool idea! And I thought, well, what about if we, if I were to get a, a big piece of paper, and I have everybody put their handprint. Remember when you were in kindergarten, but, but put their handprint on the paper. And sign it, you know, not just not just myself and my brother, but uh, the grandchildren and, and you know and everybody, and then maybe reduce the size and use that as the um, DVD cover for her Mother's Day DVD. How cool would that be? So maybe maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I might not. The stars might not align, and I may not be able to get interviews with everyone, and I wouldn't want to leave anybody out. But uh, it's certainly a thought, and I could I could catch up with them anywhere with this. This is being taken on my iPod, uh, fifth generation iPod, and I could take the the video anytime, anywhere. I've always had this with me. So that's what I'm thinking about doing for Mother's Day. Also, uh, on Mother's Day. At, uh, at where mom lives they're having a mother's day tea at about 2 30 in the afternoon and um, you know i'm going to be there we're going to go down to the main dining room for mother's day and you know we're going to make a day of it we're going to make a day of it but what are you doing for mother's day have you thought about that have you put any thought into it at all maybe it's a good time to do that tell me in comments or a video response would be even better but by all means, tell me, what are you thinking about for Mother's Day? How do you say, I love you, Mom, and you mean everything to me?
let me know. Secondly, a little update to my Zen life. Um, I'm still riding the wave. Still riding the wave. Um, bills are all paid. I have my, my rents all set up. My deposits all ready. And um, uh, one of the things that I have to do when I move in is there's a, a walkway between my rooms and the rest of the house. And right now there's a privacy uh, like divider curtain there. And uh, I wanted to be a little more secure than that. I just thought it would be appropriate to be more private um, so that I wouldn't bother them. And uh, so when I talked to Kat, I said, you know, I might want to put up a, like a permanent door here. Would that be a problem? She said, absolutely not. But I can't do it. I can't. I won't be footing the bill for that. I said, no, I'll, I do it at my own expense. She said, okay. So I figured I'm going to spend two hundred dollars or a hundred and a half on a door and all the mounting equipment and all that. Well, last night after visiting with mom for a while, I was passing Lowe's and I never go to Lowe's, but I, as I passed Lowe's, I thought I should see what doors you know what they really run. So I went in Lowe's and I was looking around and I found exactly the door I need, plywood construction, you know, a pretty fair door for $15. I bought it right then and uh, they're holding it for me. My brother's going to go pick it up with his SUV because I was in the car. But uh, yeah, $15 to put up the door and, and I was all worried about, well that's going to be a couple hundred dollars that I'm going to have to come up with. But uh, yeah, the, you know, the, the universe is smiling down on Zen right now, and I am loving it. It's sunny out. It's a great day. Mother's Day is coming up, and uh, everything's still clicking. So, uh, I'm living the dream, sharing the experience on a shoestring. Living the dream, sharing the experience is a call back to my friend Renetto who's also doing inventions and stuff like that and uh, has apps well I'm not doing that stuff but uh, this is a major shift in my life and I am so excited with the way that it's going thank you for following along if you want to keep up with it of course hit the subscribe and if you enjoy the videos of course hit the like button but uh, Come along with me and enjoy this, this crazy ride. I'm sure there'll be some down times, and I'll share those with you as well. Until next time, as always, this is Zen saying you be well. Leave a response. What are you doing for Mother's Day?